Hello guys, welcome to Soundbox and if you're tuning in for the first time, please do not forget hit up that subscribe button, like this video, turn on the bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload new videos like this. Today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you a diminished passing chord that will take you to the 6th chord, okay? So, and uh, we're going to be doing this in the key of C sharp. So, let's dive into the piano and get this done in no time. So, alright guys, um, like I said, um, on this particular lesson, we're going to be in the key of C sharp. So, um, the major scale of C sharp is going to be C sharp 1, um, E flat is a 2, F is a 3, F sharp is a 4, um, G sharp is a 5, B flat is a 6, C is a 7, then back to the 1, okay? So, um... Four. That's how it will sound, okay? The major uh, movement I'm going to be showing us is this diminished chord. Um, that is this diminished. The major movement I'm going to be showing us is this diminished passing chord that takes us to the C chord, okay? Okay. So um, you know, I said in the key of this is the one of C sharp, two, three, four, five, then six. So I want to do a passing like this to the six, okay? So you're just taking us. Uh, all right. So let's say we have a song like uh, we can use it like say we have a song like Asta. No, as a D we did. I've done a whole lot of seven, three, six passing to this particular song. I did one on D, so you can look out for that if you haven't watched that. But uh, this particular one is just going to take us to the six, like I said. So let's say we have a song like Asta. You know. You see, like. Asta. You see? So, uh, uh, so that kind of a thing, okay? So that's where we can use such kind of movements, okay? So I did like um Alright. So let me do a breakdown of this diminished chord. What I just did. On the left hand, on the first one, we played this, which um left hand we just have F. Okay. Right hand we have um C, E flat, F sharp, and A. Okay, so F on left and right hand, C, E flat, F, and A. So that's the first chord. Okay, so you know, you just go, you just go full tone from your left hand and semitone, the same diminished chord, semitone upward. Okay, you just ascend semitone. Okay, with the same diminished chord. Okay, so why the left hand you just go full tone? Okay, so which is uh okay, so the first and the second one, the second chord. So the second chord is going to be left hand we have um G, right hand um C sharp, E, G, and uh, B flat. Okay, C sharp, E, G, and B flat. Alright, so Moving on, the next one is going to be this. Okay, so you can play it like this if you want. You want to do a drop two. Okay, you can do it like this, or either like this or like this. It's just optional. You decide which one you want to use. Okay, so I'll play the first three. So one, two, three. Okay, so you're not doing like um, a third, the flatted five, uh, sharp five and um move from that and then you move from there so on the sharp five this is what we are playing left hand you're playing a single note a right hand you're playing e flat f sharp a and c sharp all right so the first three again one two three okay then the next one okay so they're all diminish you know chord just going diminish um diminish semitone diminish on the right hand full tone diminish on the right hand and um you go like this then oh. so the chord i'm about to show you is just this um left hand you're playing c and the right hand you're playing f sharp a c and e flat okay so f sharp a c e flat so together to this point, one, two, three, slowly again. 
you can do it you know you know then like you got you're doing like this so but together you know okay so together you don't know you can't get it you can just spend time to rehearse it and over time as you rehearse it it will get acquitted to your hand okay so the last one is going to be this okay so left hand you have um you can decide to do b flat okay only b flat and if you want to make it a little bit fuller you can just add up your c sharp so b flat and c sharp whichever one i'm just giving you guys um different options to play around okay so like i said you're doing this um ba -da 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 -da, or so whichever one first one ba -da -da. second one you can if you decide you can do you see so on the left hand like i said b flat and f and c sharp right hand you're going to play f um g sharp c sharp so either this or this so if you're playing this you're just adding up the c sharp or you are omit the c sharp all right so everything together to this point which um is going to look like this so you can just look at the fingering i'm using as well okay if you want you can use my fingering if you don't want you can use up a finger pattern that works fine for you one more time so um using it in the content of a song is going to sound like this you see so you do okay one more time or you use that one or if you want to there's so much options you can do okay so um you're doing okay so guys um if you actually want me to break down this song you can drop down a comment if you want me to do a breakdown of a particular song you can also drop down a comment trust me in no time i'm going to respond to it so we're doing optional again another option so yes. Thanks and that's all for today's lesson. I believe that you find this lesson interesting. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit up that subscribe button, like this video, turn on the bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload new videos like this. See you in the next lesson. Cheers.